Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how GitHub Copilot helps in writing Node.js backend code. It is one of the Node.js framework. Let's have the hands-on at the end of this video. Before that, let's have a look at the brief history of how GitHub Copilot comes into existence. Let's start with OpenAI. OpenAI is an American artificial intelligence research organization. It was founded around 2015 by a group of people which include Sam Altman, current CEO of OpenAI, and Elon Musk, along with other renowned people from other big companies like Google, LinkedIn, and Infosys. OpenAI had a partnership with Microsoft with the investment of $1 billion during the period of 2019 and then followed by that $10 billion in 2023. Initially, OpenAI was started as a non-profit company. Currently, it turns out to be a capital profit company. It's like a hybrid of for-profit and non-profit. Reason being, the investors and employees can earn a third and fixed return. It was recently said by Sam Altman. In 2021, OpenAI has released a product, OpenAI Codec, designed specifically for programming tasks. GitHub Copilot is an AI-powered code completion tool that was released in 2021 by the GitHub team and OpenAI. GitHub Copilot offers a more user-friendly experience by integrating the AI model into a popular code editors. GitHub Copilot works by leveraging the power of OpenAI's codec model, an advanced AI model trained on a vast dataset of code and natural language from public code repositories. At the moment, Copilot is busy in learning from the public repos. If you have a GitHub account, you can subscribe to the Copilot with the above plans. Free trial is also available for 30 days. And install the GitHub Copilot features via VS Code extensions. Yes, let's get started with the NestJS hands on. This is a sample NestJS project. So, this is the controller file. So, we are using profile service in the controller. Let's go to the profile service. Here we are using get profile method, which the user's profile details based on current user ID and profile username. Let's try to call this method from the controller using GitHub Copilot. So let's try to add a command, create a new method called profile method from profile service. Let's see if GitHub Copilot can bring that method here into the controller so by pressing control or uh, enter use this all the suggestions this is the keyword to bring out all the suggestions from the github copilot so here are the suggestions we can just go through the code so we can accept the solution if it suits our need so these are the solutions we have accepted it has called the get profile method from the service and it has passed those two parameters username and the user id and also it has created its own root we can uh, always edit this yeah Let's try to add some exception to this get profile method using GitHub Copilot. So the, the user entity has articles as one of the property. So let's try to throw some exception based on the user response from the database. The user's article array has only one element uh, that is on condition through the exception on the other condition is if the property inside that article array that is the title the title value is aws code whisperer then it should throw some exception that's how we are uh, uh, putting the comments here and also we'll add some more input to the comments like what should be the error message it should throw so the error message is this, like the, the title is code with error. And uh, status code should be 09, so it is conflict. Let's see. Press control and enter. Let's see the suggestions from the GitHub Copilot. Yeah, so it could give us the right solution. 
so let's try to accept this solution i think this work this break yeah let's try to add some end to end test to the app controller file so let's add some comments like uh to add a end to end test for get profile method from the same service which we were working on and uh, for the same scenario like we have added some exceptions right so for the same scenario we'll try to add some end to end test so this code should be 409 and uh, the error message should be title is aws code whisperer for the same scenario we'll try to add a end to end test after adding this command just enter control plus enter key and uh, there will be some suggestions from github copilot let's see one by one so it is taking some time yes so there are different covered uh, scenarios other than 409 as well so and it has changed the structure of the response here it has stored the values in some variables and there are some irrelevant results also there are some redundant quotes and some duplicated comments it still has come up with some solutions that we can take so yeah it look cool i'm just looking through it hey okay, like some solution even we can modify the solutions uh to our ease yeah so let's try to add a unit test for the same method that profile from the profile service for the same scenario uh the status code 409 and the same error message only addition is i was asking to add some mock to the database method since we are calling uh, the database method the repository method to get the user details so that we need to mock so if you see the suggestions this was more appropriate like it was using the spy on and mocking the get profile method also uh, to the surprise like it has assigned the articles array with only one element and also the title value is aws code with error so i didn't explicitly mention that but it was able to do it based on the scenario so let's try to add some logic to the repository methods so these are the logic like if the tag does not exist it should yeah so the entity we have these columns tag does not exist it should throw some error message with some status code and it should add a new property for the result if tag exists and it should save to the database so these are the solutions so it is finding it by name and throwing error if the tag is value is null and adding a new property and saving to the database this look fine let's try to add some more logics to the repository methods so let's create a new method the parameter should be multiple tag names that is array and the filter should be based on the response it should filter out the last six months data based on the created at date field yeah based on the suggestions we could see it has created the method so we can simply accept it so let's try to add some more logic to it like by adding pagination with some default page size and page number let's see the solutions yeah it could do with the help of query builder and it also adds the tax count to the response yeah this look cool we can uh, accept this solution yeah so let's try to add some new columns to the entity class uh these are the columns if you look at the suggestions from copilot yes it could create so the date types are added to the column end with date and uh, boolean to is deleted is active columns 
the next version of GitHub Copilot is available now. That is GitHub Copilot X. It has adapted OpenAI's GPT-4 and it offers more significant features than the previous one. GitHub Copilot Chat is one of the most important features from this X version. It helps us by providing answers to coding related questions, writing unit tests, fixing bugs in a more user friendly way. It also helps in managing the pull request more effectively by adding some intelligence to it. We'll have a look at all these features in our next video. Thank you so much for watching this video.